Hello people, you're welcome, thanks for clicking. In the Quran, Prophet Muhammad was only measured four times throughout. So he asked this question, why is it so? Next question is, why is the name Muhammad? Muhammad, did I say it right? Why is it mentioned so, many, so few times in the Quran? Alhamdulillah, all praise and thanks are due to Allah. The name Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Mim Ha Mim Dal, is mentioned four times in the Quran. In these four instances, you have to go back to the language and its usage. You don't refer to someone by their name. Because whatever was done in the Quran would be done by many people. And what was happening, uh, this is a, a, an example. Uh, we find it in, in about five uh, places in the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about how people would come and they did not know how to address the Prophet, peace be upon him. So they would come outside of his home, I think in Surah Hujurat as well. Uh, it, they, it would come outside of his home and they would start screaming, Muhammad, Muhammad, come out, come out. So they would address him by name, which again, we said there is no hierarchy, but we needed to have a way to address the Prophet, peace be upon him, in a respectful way. So throughout the Qur'an, you will see Rasulullah. Even in the, uh, in the famous place in Surah Muhammad, God says, Muhammadun Rasulullah. Muhammad, the messenger of Allah. But if I don't mind, and all due respect to the questioner, I, I question back, only one thing, find the four places in the Qur'an where Allah does say Muhammad and find out why and what type of loving tone is being taken in that situation. So it's used fewer times, only four times in the Qur'an is he called by name, but I would implore you and encourage you to find out why he is called by his name and how frequently Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls to him in a loving fashion. And this connects directly to Brother Noman's question. Why was he? Is there are gems. But at the end of the day, we believe Qur'an to be from Allah, our Creator. So He chose these scenarios so that we could learn to respect the Prophet, peace be upon him. Uh, on another time, if we could figure out why did he say it at all. It's a very interesting story. There's a lot of uh, love and compassion. And in certain cases, it's us understanding the mentality or the thought process of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Uh, I, I had another question, so if it's okay. Did that answer your question, kind of, sort of? And it looks like a guy's handwriting, so. <laughs> Why is the name so few times? But it's mentioned Rasulullah, Nabi, Ya Ayyuhan Nabi. It's mentioned so many times. And Sheikh Suhaib's not here, so I'm take 20 seconds uh, to answer. God speaks through Quran, right? So He speaks through this text. He also knows that the reader is of different, uh, different states. Um, we just heard someone read Qur'an in the bathroom, right? Not recommended, not the best thing to do. But hey, if you're on a journey, you're on a journey. You got to do what you got to do. But in this, we realize that the Prophet ﷺ, when he was receiving Qur'an or reciting Qur'an in Surah Kahf, and in many places in the Qur'an, Abasa wa Tawalla, it is, he's spoken to in a very stern fashion. And, but his... Thought process comes through. Do you remember what in Surah Kahf when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, and it is as if you wanted to take your own life? You guys kind of nod for a second? Okay. Just pretend. It's okay. So yes, so that's the mentality. So when the Prophet, peace be upon him, is addressed by name, there's a mentality that he's receiving and that he is saying and how we should treat him, how we should speak to him. But you will also find that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very loving and caring with the Prophet, peace be upon him. Did you ever notice in the beginning of Qul Ya Ayyuhal Kafirun? Ya Ayyuhal Kafirun means, O oh, disbelievers. What does it say before that? Qul. Why does God have to encourage him to say it? Because his nature is so soft that he can't walk up to people and be like, hey, disbeliever, infidel. It wasn't in his nature. So the words that were selected in the Qur'an, the words that were selected, were selected to even understand the mezaj, the nature, the nature, the, the mindset, thank you very much, the mindset of the Prophet, peace be upon him. So I'm learning a lot about Islam, guys. The fact that Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was mentioned only times in the Quran. What they are trying to say is that 
his name, that particular name. They, they called him in diverse names. You know, they referred to him in, in different names. But they called him Mohammed, the particular name Mohammed, four times. So now I'm doing my research. I want to know how and where God called. So um, I just did a research now on Google to know how many times Allah mentioned Muhammad and which verses. Okay, the word Muhammad was mentioned four times in Quran in four verses. That's what the Quran says. So I'm learning as a non-Muslim. I, I need to know the verses. So this is, um, I don't know, this one says three verse, I don't know, it's saying chapter three verse 144. Muhammad is not but a messenger. Messengers have passed on before him. So if he was to die or be killed, would you turn back on your ears to unbelief? And he who turns back on his ears will never am Allah at all, but Allah will reward the grateful. So he's just trying to tell us that Muhammad is the messenger in this particular verse. Do what Allah says, believe in Allah, will be rewarded. So the second place, Muhammad is not the father of any of your men, but is the messenger of Allah and last of the prophet. And whoever is Allah of all things knowing. Okay, that's the second time Prophet Muhammad's name was mentioned in the Quran. So that particular verse of saying that he's a messenger, he's nobody's father, but he's the messenger of Allah and he's the last prophet. That's what Quran lets us know. So the, the third verse says, And those who believe and do righteous deeds and believe in what has been sent down upon Muhammad, and it is the truth from their Lord. Wow. So was Allah referred to Lord in the Quran? Wow, that was good. I never knew Allah was referred to Lord in the Quran. Okay. It will remove from them their mistake and amend their condition. So in this chapter, he's trying to say that whoever believe and do righteous deed, and you also believe in Prophet Muhammad that was sent, so that means God will remove all your mistakes and amend your condition. So the last chapter, Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, and those with him are forceful against the disbelievers, merciful among themselves. You see them bowing and prostrating in prayer, seeking both from Allah and his pleasure. Their mark is on their face from the trace of prostration. That is their description in the Torah. And the description in the gospel is as is as a plant which produces off shoot and strengthens them so they grow firm and stand upon their stalks. Allah has promised those who believe and do righteous things among them forgiveness and a great reward. So these are the four verses that Muhammad was mentioned and all these verses God was just trying to tell us that people should do good deeds that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger is the last prophet, is after God's act you know, that's all this chapter was saying. They also spoke about Muhammad, but in another name. So he has different names. So right now, I did my research too on the names. And these are the names of Muhammad. Muhammad, Magomed, Mamad. Hey, I don't know. Please, don't let me go ahead, guys. So I'll not spoil the name. Why does it sound the same? The names sound the same. Mm -hmm. The names of the prophet are of two types. Those names that are specific to him and none of the messengers before him are these names. So apart from Prophet Muhammad being better, Muhammad, they also called him these names in the Quran. So anytime you find this name in the Quran, it is this is Prophet Muhammad they are referring to. So the other names are Ahmad, al al his father, if I'm not mentioning it for, Al-Hakib, 
Alumufod. I cannot pronounce these names, guys. I'm finding it difficult to pronounce them. If you say anywhere Prophet Muhammad was not mentioned as Prophet Muhammad, if either you see these other seven names and he's the one they are talking about or the Quran is referring to. So this was a beautiful one. I'm just learning this for the first time as a non-Muslim and I'm mind blown. Prophet Muhammad's name, Muhammad, was not mentioned more than four times. But he has seven other names. And that was beautiful to watch. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.